So in this video, I'm going to go ahead and install Norton Utilities version 7 on my 486DX uh, 266 megahertz machine that we've uh, put together in a couple of previous videos. Uh, it's got 20 megs of RAM, a 2 gigabyte hard drive, broke up into four 512 megabyte partitions. I've got a sound blaster card in it and a surreal mouse on it. And let's go ahead and lay down Norton Utilities and see what we get. So. I'm assuming there's an installer of some kind on here. There's an installer XE, it looks like. I probably should have read the installation instructions in the manual, but I did not. For color settings, well, it's. Yes, we want color. Color's much nicer. Great. I don't have a company. Full install. Daisy, what are you doing down there? Why are you doing it? She's been quiet all day, and the minute I start recording, she's got to come uh, tiptoe behind me or, or tap dance behind me. Click little toenails. Complete the enclosed registration card entitled to free technical support. I suspect I'm not going to get technical support anymore. So I have looked a little bit at what's in here. Installation, some getting started notes, uh, recovery tutorial, so it's got a lot of information on recovering floppies and hard drive and that kind of stuff. Uh, creating a rescue disk, protecting data, performance tutorials might be interesting. Uh, fragmentation of files, optimizing a disk. Uh, calibrate, directory sort. Some of these are like, yeah. Disk editor, disk monitor, don't know what it does. Disk tools. Disk read, I have no clue. Duplicate disk, file attributes, file data. File find, file fix, file locate. File size, image disk, Norton Cache, Norton Change Directory, I'm not sure what that is all about, Norton Control Center, Norton Diagnostics might be interesting. So let's get disk 2 installed here. Uh, was that Norton Diagnostics, Norton Disk Doctor? Utility, rescue, safe format, smart gen, speed test, system information, unerase, wipe, unformat, uh, unformat? Okay, does it roll back a format? So it might be kind of interesting. Uh, hmm. I'm assuming that's all the developers that worked on it. There's Peter Norton over here on the right hand page. You know, there was a time when uh, that was a definite name uh, in the industry. And I guess there's still Norton Antivirus maybe out there? I don't remember. Wow, this is a thick, thick, thick book. Speed disk now defrags, double disk stacker. I believe double space is the utility I used to use way back in the day, although I could be wrong. This one, this two. And let's install this three. Hopefully this won't require a reboot. I'd be happier if it didn't install a TSR, uh, but who knows, it might. Uh, for those of you that don't know, a term or TSR is Terminate and Stay Resonant. It was a way of uh, loading a program permanently into memory, basically, back in the day. Uh, you could execute it, and it would just stay in memory. So terminate, but stay resonant. So, you know, drivers, mouse drivers, those kind of things tend to be TSRs. So, and this may have its own set. Configuring your system... Certainly thrashing the hard drive. Uh, 
make changes to startup files, use the NDOS command processor, stack keyboard, diagnose disk problems, save disk information. Well, let's let it make changes and see what happens. And got a reboot. The original copies are have been backed up to NU7. Okay. And I assume now it's going to reboot. Create a rescue disk. Might as well do that while we're here. So let me find a I assume a 1.44 meg disk. We have one here. Read it. Yes, I am good with all the data on that disk being lost. And it's using Norton's formatter, it looks like. Press escape or click mouse to interrupt formatting. Well, you forget how slow floppies were until you actually have to sit down and use them, especially compared to modern mass storage. Uh, we had a lot of patience back then. Of course, we didn't know better back in the day. It just it was what it was. So, I can hear that little fan. I think that's the CPU fan I put in here. I replaced the actual... Well, I added a fan to the heatsink on the CPU uh, and put in a low noise fan, so I'm surprised with that much of a whine, actually. Setting the volume label, creating rescue disk system files, what is on the cable here. Little piece of something. And I'm assuming rescue can do things like potentially get the hard drive back or configurations of things or you know I wrote a bunch of utilities for the Atari ST back in the day for dealing with floppies and uh, twisted formatting that kind of stuff saving unerase unformat FDIS Norton Diagnostics Super exciting here, I know. And save the CMOS, save the boot record. Makes sense. Partition tables, that makes sense. Well, let's let the system reboot. Floppies are removed. This takes a second. It actually is doing something, so the BIOS on this is pretty unexciting. That blinking cursor up on the right-hand side meant we could enter setup there. That required a special partition on the disk. Uh, this is a Prolina 466 machine, a compact machine, and there's a video on the channel that will show you how to recreate that partition so you can actually get into setup. So it found the Sound Blaster 16 plug and play. Uh, it's seen my CD-ROM drive. I've also got an IDE CD-ROM drive on here. It's actually a brand new CD-ROM drive, new old stock. Uh, it's a 52X, so it's a much later generation than you know, keeping this machine pristine would have been, but it's all I could find, so... Cool. We uh, we have a machine. So nu equals c nu. So nope. Nu. That's what. It's just a path. Well, let's take a poke around here. And diag. I'm just guessing. <laughs> nope. Okay. Let's look at a few of the programs that have supposedly now been installed. Recovery tutorials, performance, batch enhancer, calibrate, directory sort, disk monitor, disk tools, 
duplicate disk, file attributes, file date, probably like a touch utility. File fix, file locate, essentially where, huh? There's an FL. Well, that is showing everything. FL, uh... Oh, it is. It's where. It's the equivalent of Unix where. It told me where path to tc.exe was. That That's useful immediately. So, image of disk, print something, Norton cache, Norton change directory. Norton change directory and you. Why... Okay, so it just it, it it okay. It's just a a caching feature for this. So n diag s n d i a g s. Norton diag test your hardware components. Disconnect your printer, modem, other items other than your mouse that are connected to ports. Let's see what it thinks my system is. It shows the system hardware detected by Norton. You may use one of three methods for telling how to determine your serial. Okay. Uh, Compaq. It's an 84 or an 8046DX2, 66 megahertz. Because it's a DX46, uh, it's got a built-in mathematical processor. That's a compatible VGA, serial mouse, uh, two gigabyte hard drive, 1.44 meg floppy. There's 20 megs total of memory. It is an ISA machine with two serial ports, one parallel, 101. Uh, all of this is correct, so let's go ahead and see what tests do. Uh, well, it's doing things. Uh, DMA controller, interrupt controller. Timers, real-time clock, DOS clock test. test. I don't have loopback connectors and I suspect it will want them, so... Yeah, it wants loopback connectors that I don't have. Well, I do. Uh, oh. Doing the same thing again here because it didn't finish the loop, so... Well, this is unexciting. It is what it is. Uh, speed disk, what it does. Speed disk. S P E E D I S K. So C D E and F are partitions on the same two gigabyte drive. So I think this is just going to do a speed test on drive C. 98 drive C is not fragmented uh, and, for, and fragment files only. Yeah, let's go ahead and let it do it. There's not been a lot of activity on this, this system since built, so you can see it caching stuff up here on the end of the partition. Oh, interesting. Okay. Let's look at D. I don't even D has anything on it. That's what I thought. All right. Nothing surprising here. Norton Disk Doctor, Speed Test, Smart Can. Don't know what that does. Sysinfo. Uh, we've seen this screen before, so it's just, as you would think, information about the machine. Video memory, 256K, all of that is brain normal stuff. Uh, what's tied to interrupts? By name. Card disk type 65, which is easier to find. Single floppy drive. Well, this is pretty comprehensive. 
partition tables. Interesting, Big DOS. I don't think I've ever heard it called a Big DOS partition before. Hey, there's a lot of detail there. Wipe info, unformat, unerase, text search. Ooh, there's a text search. Text search. Search spaces within files, all of disk or erased file space. So files. Uh, I have no idea. Okay, I did that intentionally, so it found in the auto exec a bunch of lines with SET in them. Uh, no surprise there. Actually, I think it just dumped the whole file. So there it is. We have Norton Utilities installed. I don't know that we need to do more with this. It's just, you know, uh, maintenance, recovery, you know, how to undo mistakes like formatting something accidentally. As long as the uh, fat table wasn't overwritten, you can generally unformat. Say some of these look like they're kind of equivalents of Unix commands. Anyhow, I think that one, or this wraps this one up. Uh, I guess this was a short video, so if you got this far, I appreciate it, and we'll talk soon.